Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence, so viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hello everybody! Welcome to a brand new Let's Play by... Well, I was gonna say by Colorful Artie. It's on my channel, but this is the first Let's Play where I will not be in control of the game. Yeah! I'm, I'm joined by my sister Marty. Hi! And we're doing something a little different, but also a little familiar. This is Ghost Trick Phantom Detective for the Nintendo DS. If For those of you who don't know what this game is all about, I'll just say you're missing out. This is seriously one of the best games I've played. Pro I wouldn't know, because... This might have this is in the top two or three games for overall story really yes okay this has just a fantastic phenomenally done story this is by the same team who makes aba attorney games we've played a couple of those uh, yep yep and the reason i don't know this is because this is a complete i have no idea what this game is about already has yep. told me pretty much nothing and that's good and that's good because you're going to probably... I'm going to be interesting. Yeah. Because I'm also going to be controlling the game. We'll see how that because, goes. Because <laughs> I've been in control for our Ace Attorney Let's Plays. Because it's just all text. Yeah. And Marty can just be... Oh, I think this is the thing. But Ghost Trick is way more actual gameplay. Okay. I'm not sure if you need, like, the buttons all that much. Like, for the we'll text for the text advancing, I can do that. Okay. But there's a lot using the touchscreen, or in our case, the mouse, that is necessary. Anyhow, we're probably rambling. You it, guys want to see it? It's in English, right? Oh, yeah. So okay. let's start Ghost Trick in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Let's see if the volume's loud enough. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. Chapter 1, 7.02 p.m. It starts it's up. really quiet. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. This has got to be me. No question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? I mean, we're only seeing the spotlights. So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this... This is no time to be lying around dead. You're the only one who can save her. Okay. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Well, at least we didn't see him get shot. A voice in my head? Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Sure. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. As you do? What? <laughs> Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. Oh, this is like Howl's Moving Castle where his heart's like in flames. That's the only similarity. Basically. Kind of. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm, it looks just like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand it is to just try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Next, with your fingers still on it, slide your soul across it to connect it with the core. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So, what? Now I'm a crossing gate? <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Wait, wh what if we screw up? Does she just die? <laughs> Wait! I'm the one in charge here. This is gonna be bad. Okay, well... <laughs> sorry, lady! <laughs> Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? Assuming that the gun's working, yeah. So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Okay. 
Uh, hey, wait a second! I still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. What? Now then, time will start to flow again. Ah! Okay, um... Quick trick. Wait, I'm trying to... Touch. Blam! What the- Oof! Hold it! Well played. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> so, we used a trick? Or, we clicked the trick button and the railway crossing gate went plunk, flipped upwards oh. and knocked the gun up uh, from oh, the guy's Oh, that's what happened. It went so fast I didn't even know what was happening. Yeah, you do have to pay attention in this game. Okay. Uh, uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean, I made that crossing gate move? That's right. You manipulated that object with a power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is to pr touch the trick button. Now that woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Right. Yes. Hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. Oh, man. So I enter the ghost world with ghost, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Okay. Try possessing a different core. Don't have the range for that. Oh, that one. Okay. I see. A guitar, then, is it? <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? I would have pre preferred the giant wrecking ball. That would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. Who's there? Hold it! Uh, that's gotta be some of the slowest <laughs> running away I've ever seen. She's like, oh no! Uh, runs two <laughs> steps. <laughs> hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is, is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Well, tell you what. Why don't you just try it and see? This probably won't Go work. ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. She just dies. Go ahead and try the trick button. Okay. Yeah! Huh? Nothing's happening. <laughs> Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. Can you put time back and stop? She's gonna die! <laughs> you can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? She better not be dead. If you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. <clears throat> so you have to click on the screen and hold it to slide. Slide the screen? It's easy. Here, give it a try. Hey. Oh, nothing happened. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Oh, well, someone else is dead. This is great. A lot of people die in this game. <laughs> really good animations for the DS, though. Yeah, for the DS, it's pretty sharp. Phone booth. Okay. That's a, hang, that's a sweet gun fair, he's got. Who, why would she out of hanging, my way. Why would she be hanging out in the dump anyway? <laughs> who knows? Um, she was going to get a wheel for her chariot, like Arthur did. <laughs> wow! I forgot. That episode made me so sad as a child, because I was yeah. really afraid he would be super hurt. Because it's a dump. <laughs> wow. No answering machine on that. It's done. I'm on my way. Well... Wonder how this dude got in here, too. He's also blue. <laughs> yeah, but that could be, like, face paint. Like the blue man group. <laughs> in the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Whoa, it's like Pixar! This is a Pixar film? <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing? 
Not very well, I imagine. A terribly, a terrible tragedy would happen tonight. Ah, uh, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice, exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. But now she's dead and we can be in the same... She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true. For now. For now? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your what, ghost tricks. What, can we revive people? <laughs> that would be funny. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. If we can, that'd be pretty sweet. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here, like a discarded piece of trash? We are in a dump. But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. I do think it's kind of cool that they just star you out like, you're a dead Yeah, queen. it's super good start. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on its invitation anyway. Sure. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to do it. Lose at this point. You also don't have anything else to do. You're dead. <laughs> so. Yeah. Trick well. time. I love that saying. Oh, we can click. Anytime that appears, you can click on it. That <laughs> That thought bubble you just touched. Those are your thoughts. What you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. Just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. Ooh. And the ghost button is your ticket in. Oh. The best thing to do is try it. The ghost button, eh? Guess I'll have to give it a little touch. Also, this- I just want to say, every song in this soundtrack is awesome. Yeah, it sounds cool. Ghost trick! Uh, oh. Car door. Oh, also one thing you'll know. Whenever you possess something, it'll tell you what trick you can perform on it. Oh. So these, we can't perform a trick yet. We can't go to the phone yet. Woo. So let's see. By the way, have you taken a look at the top screen? Oh, he's, he's about to say that too. What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. Okay. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time the back button is your ticket out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who's this we? All the other lamps, obviously. <laughs> Land of the lamps. Okay, wait. Okay, is that toolbar popping up getting yeah, annoying? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I'll see what I can do about that. Okay, sorry about that. We just had to fix some taskbar problems. Anyhow, let's trick this folding cot. Blam. Oh, okay. And now you see the core has moved over to this side. Because it was originally there. Huh, that's funny. What is? Oh, here I can do this. Uh -huh. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. Aw, how cute. What's that supposed to mean? Not everyone who dies gets special powers, you know. Oh, it's like a special, special thing. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Ghost. Trick. Congratulations. You passed. Cool. Now can we please do something? Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? 
Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. It's because it was your own corpse. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? Cool. Trick time. I love that. <laughs> uh, trick? Just well, you're on the lamp. I think that you can't trick it, as you can see on the top. So. Okay. Whoa. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Looks like she's unconscious. Poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. <laughs> I love that face. Yeah. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Oh. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one what, day. What, have we been dead there for like a day now? <laughs> <laughs> he was unconscious for a long time. A long time. Also, it's appropriate that it's four minutes before death, because in Japan, four, four sounds like death. Four is an unlucky number. Four sounds yeah, like yeah. the word for death. It's why they don't have like the number four on like apartment buildings and stuff. Is it really that serious? It's like it's like in in America how like thirteen is a terrible number. We don't like remove the, thirteen. No, from our we signs, don't. But though. yeah, four and seven, I think, are the two numbers. Which is ironic because in America it's like set lucky number seven. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's more super superstitious. <laughs> and she's still well within that uh, one day time. Limit. Well, we'll see if she is. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy. N none of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> now then, let's go, shall we? Even the game's like, oh, we don't know what's happening. <laughs> to the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. H hey, wait a second. I, I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Yeah, whatever. Rewind, Rewind time. time. Main gimmick of the game. Cool. It's really cool. Okay, so four minutes before, where is she? And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real, living present. Four minutes, 701 of Zone D-Way Center. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no. He's... he's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this! You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want from me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temzik left in this country. Temzik? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. That's very convenient of you to tell us. <laughs> Look, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Oof! Hold it! Who's there? Hold it! A shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just furrow. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. 
two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Because he's nearsighted Jigo, don't you know? Right. So I guess we get to watch everything. And there you have it. The last four minutes of her life. What was the point? No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. Yeah. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times oh, as you good. like to. I thought it was like, you get one shot. I'm like, we just watched her die again. That wasn't <laughs> that, That's how it always works. First, you see everything that happens. Because you'll basically oh, never know how someone dies. Right. And then you replay it and can actually like move okay. around and possess things. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Now then, are you ready? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Whoosh. That's, that's a really cool scene transition. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, huh. after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. Oh, uh, okay. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. This gameplay reminds <laughs> me, like, how it's set up, and then it, like, panned down reminds me of, um, Scribblenauts. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> both like, DS games, so. Okay, you need to figure out what to do with this puzzle. <laughs> Hop in, then. Okay. Trick time. Oh, we have four minutes. But, yeah, but keep in mind, time passes while you're not in the ghost world, and the scene will start transitioning as you go along. So... Exit now, and thanks for moving. There are only four minutes left before she dies. Okay. You had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Who are you? So, this like, is, stuff like this is, this like is happening quickest, as we're moving this is along. the quickest Time minutes. is passing. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right. Have a look at the top screen. The top screen, eh? Yep, it's a video game. The sand in the top of the timer is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before all that sand is gone. Okay. Up you go, then. Mannequin tire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's roll. Trick. That's cool. <laughs> Refrigerator. <laughs> Trick. Nice. Did that do anything? Yep. <laughs> Not the blender. Click. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want with me? They said to rub out all the last traces of Temzik left in this country. Temzik? What in the world is that? Time's passing. Uh-oh. Her time is running out. Ghost. Um. Um. Um, am I supposed to close? Oh, yeah. Trick. Then do it. You're catching on pretty quickly. Wait. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Well, you need to. You would need to turn it back on. Oh shoot! What am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm just gonna stay here because time's not passing. Right. Um. So I need to turn on the fan. Can I have it stop at a certain point? Um. Or is it like timing? Probably you can timing. turn on the fan. Then before it turns, jump onto the flag, and then the flag will blow up from the fan that you okay. turned on. So you go once it's stopped. You'll get a trick option. Turn on. Now ghost, and then move to the flag, and, oh. and the fan will keep on going. Okay. So you're kind of getting an idea for how things are going to interact. So Is go it going up? No. Oh, shoot. It didn't do it. Oh, crap. So go back. Did it instantly turn off? Yeah, it turned off. Oh, okay, okay. This is kind of your tutorial, so... I 
just gotta figure out when to so, do the trick button. There's no trick for this. So, ghost. Now try something else. See? Oh! Darn. If I'd hopped onto the flag, it would have taken me up. Timing is important, too, when it comes yeah, to ghost tricks. That out. Okay. Is that a fact? This is gonna be difficult. You can touch the ghost and trick button as many times as you want. Anytime you want. So keep an eye out for the ghost button, even when you're manipulating. So I can press whatever button is being displayed on screen at any time, eh? So once you get the blender and fan going at the same time, that's your chance. You ought to be able to move the flag, then. You just have to find the right timing. Okay, well... Oh, hey, you actually get another shot at it, though. Ghost? Wait. So, so go back to the fan. Back. Go back to the fan. Oh, you're right. Crap. No, no, it's fine. Go back to the fan. Okay. Turn it on. Oh, wait. I need to go back over here. Yes, just like that. Okay. Well done. So long, sister. Just a few more steps. Hope I make it in time. Time is passing. Okay, let's go into ghost mode. Move up. What's this? A bicycle pump? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh. Oof. Was I not quick enough? Hold it. Who's there? Hold it! Now is her chance to change her fate. There isn't much time left. There's co this is coming down to a battle of seconds. Yeah, this is pressure. Okay. Now Trick what time. Do I, do? I just hit. Time till death. Three seconds. <laughs> um, thought bubble. Thought bubble, Marty. Okay, going. Time is almost up. You have to change her fate before the countdown reaches <laughs> yeah, zero. This... <laughs> hmm, time doesn't pass while I'm in the ghost world. I'd better process something, possess something, and fast. Guess I'll be hitting this. I can't get over there. Right, so. Jing, jing. <laughs> Damn it! What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. <laughs> <laughs> This, ha this has a very, like, dark sense of humor, I'll say. Yeah. Looks like you made it in time. Just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. She's just held it point blank later. Fate changed! With, like, two seconds to spare. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I got, I got this. The bridge is up?! Trick time! You know what you gotta do. Thought bubble. The thought bubble. You said her fate was changed, but it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all. But there isn't much time left, depending on what you do. Okay, here's my question. Let's say we get to this point and then we fail again. Do we start from a new spot? Where it's like, okay, the fate of the past is. changed. Anytime you get a fate change, it's like a checkpoint. It's like a checkpoint. That's so, what I thought. So okay. if she does die, you can go back to the beginning or you could go back to the fate change. Perfect. That's what I wanted to know. There is still the possibility of failure. <laughs> Why does that sound like school? <laughs> Even if you change your fate ever so slightly, there's still the possibility of failure. <laughs> I don't want to think about failure now. No, of course not. But still, if you ever feel like you want to start over, just press the timer button before time runs out. Although, you never know. You might learn a thing or two when time runs out, too. Alright, oh, I'll keep like that in mind. Oh, maybe like new story info or something. But right now, I'd better go after those two. Ghost. Um. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could- Oh, wait. Thought bubble. I bet you're wondering what's going on over there, right? Oh, that's right. If I want to take a look, I can slide the screen. Exactly. And by the way, you can also use the D-pad to do the same thing, so that would be the arrow keys. Okay. 
Use whichever way is easiest for you. It's gonna be arrow keys, it's gonna be the easiest. So, hang on, exit. I wanna, so if we go over there, know where to run to now. No! This time I need it. Are we just gonna watch this die? So long, sister. Nope, okay, ghost. It'll always let you know when time's about to run out where I'll be free. Two. Oh, I, I've got the ladder. One. Ladder could it's be a step extended. Ladder. <laughs> yeah. So that could do something. Otherwise, this could lower something? Yeah, that's true. That could be interesting. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, whatever. Uh, you hear something? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, don't say anything. I want the ladder. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. Never mind. That's a street light. I'm a street light choking out of here. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to be the wrecking ball. I want to be above it. That's to open the wrecking ball. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be Indiana Jones! <laughs> oh no, it's not! It didn't hit her. I'm not sure if that would be a really painful way to die or a really painless way to die. <laughs> okay. How does it feel to save a lady's life? Pretty dang good! So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. Fate averted! Cool. So I lost my life tonight, and I saved somebody else's life. Back to the present. When I came back to the present, it was raining. Oh, I love this theme. It's beautiful. This is the desk lamps theme. I'd saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Oh, of what he did? Who am I? Oh, he is amnesia. What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Oh, I wonder if they were going to pull that card. Probably he kno she knows him. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. <laughs> As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I... I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back. Others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? You're After dead all, now. <laughs> there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. W what? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes. I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I would still want to know. I want to know my story. The lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that... 
You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well. I understand how you feel. He's like, I guess we can make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and learn the truth about your death as well, you should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? In that the garbage. Wo that woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of a record of everything I learned tonight. You should learn how to <laughs> save your game! <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good idea. Touch the book to review, view a record of what you learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't the only- always the most reliable things, after all. New info has been added. To the court record. No, not the court <laughs> record. <laughs> Alright then. I wish you good luck. Cool. Talk to the girl. Trick time. Oh. Well, what? you could look at the book if you wanted. Where's the book? This is the book? This is the book. Me, New the info. mystery. Wait, I've got a phone book. The junkyard. Look in the junkyard. That'll come into play later on. Oh, not yet. We're about... I think we're about... Can Yes, continue playing. Yep. Um... My kind of my plan is to do one chapter per recording session. They are shorter than the to be continued usually in the okay. history. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memory and find out the truth behind my death. My only lead is the red-headed woman who'd witnessed that death. <sighs> Hopefully she's better than Lot of Heart. Red-headed target. A woman who was at the scene of my death. I don't know her name or anything else about her. She's already been killed once by the hitman and I saved her with my powers of the dead. Her hair, her hair looks like the, um... Billy Hatcher yeah. thing. Good <laughs> the, morning! The, the rooster comb. <laughs> Ray of Light. He calls himself Ray. I don't know who he really is. He taught me the secrets of the powers of the dead. Hunter in the Dark. He calls himself Nearsighted Jigo. He's a sniper who carries a golden shotgun. Somebody apparently ordered him to kill the red-headed woman and me, but he's gone now due to an unfortunate accident. We caused that, we that caused. thing. And that's all. That's all the characters we have met. The place where I lost my life, it appears to be a junkyard on the outskirts of town. Here I met Ray, who taught me about my powers, and a red-haired woman who might have information about my death. That's it. Alright, now we can ghost around. Shimmy? Shimmy, Jimmy! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. What if we hit her? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. Good! I think I'll try to move closer. Oh, Ben! Here you go. A sweet umbrella for you. She's just like, what's with these objects? What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. <gasps> oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have some sort of psychokinetic powers! I love this song, Awakening. But again, I love all of the songs in this game. There's not yeah. a bad one in the bunch. <gasps> it's a kitty! Is it a kitty? It's a kitty. Oh, it's so cute! And it's hanging out on Sissel, or... <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing Marty knows. She knows the guy's name. I know the that guy's, the guy's name. name is Sissel, but otherwise, I don't know anything else. Wait, and I think I think we're about to figure that out anyways. Yeah. Hmm, it looks like she's saying something to herself. But unfortunately, I can't hear it from here. 
That's no problem for ghosts like us, as long as your target's not too far away. Just like you do with your own thought bubbles. If you touch the thought bubbles of oh, yeah, the living, I didn't, I didn't you can listen in enough. on what you're sa they're saying. Maybe I'll just take a little listen then. Let's eavesdrop! Always <laughs> watch for the thought bubbles of the living. They might give you some important clues. But seriously, what in the world just happened? Ooh. What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Buy ice cream, toilet paper, or no, uh, <laughs> but it's cucumbers. cucumbers. Hey, <laughs> no, you don't need to write that down. <laughs> see, I remember the list. I just forgot to do. It's like on the on the shopping list. Go shopping. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Duh. Note: Examine. Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... So who calls the junkyard? Who? The mafia boss. <laughs> it's probably the mafia, like, a. Eh? Hmm, I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Yeah, I know where it's coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Because of a previous thing. Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in at around this time too? Oh yeah! I knew that. I was like, we're getting mafia <laughs> boss calls. Come on, main character. You're slow. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm fast in comparison. It's done. I'm on my way. Cool. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment on the other end of this telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. <laughs> Take Trick out the telephone. time. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Oh. That's creepy. Is it done? What is this, blue egg man? <laughs> With a pointy nose? <laughs> what the heck? Those are some impressive eyebrows. Speak up, man! Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However... There is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Well, that would be really inconvenient in today's age. <laughs> we still have <laughs> telephone poles everywhere. Say what? <laughs> I've done all I can to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. Oh, but Pixar lamp. <laughs> Ray, you're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I'm... I'm... Harry, I'm dying. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I've already, I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. Right, because probably this entire game's gonna take place over one night if we yep. die. So it'll just be like, in the span of like three hours, it's like, would you? <laughs> like, just like things <laughs> falling everywhere. <laughs> I'm trusted in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful for you. To you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. Oh, does this have multiple endings? 
Maybe. Maybe? Okay. So it's like one, you could maybe find out his mystery. Like one could be like the girl's mystery. One could be like, figure out the Pixar lamps mystery. <laughs> so, that's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. Oh. I wonder if this dude's just like super weird. One and the same? Hmm. This desk lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then. From that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. Oh, and then you the keep, rest you is keep all up telephone to you. numbers and be yep. like, dial the phone and be like, I want to go see. You got a new phone person. number, junkyard, sis17529. Do we have to go there? Yep. But I wanted to talk to the girl. You Whoa. can't talk to her, though. You're a ghost. Like, but I wanted to read that note. Whoosh. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist. And I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? I like this guitar. Chapter 1 complete! Oh, that's it? Yeah, okay. the chapters are pretty short. Okay. That's also kind of a tutorial-ish chapter. Yeah, so, so um, that's the first chapter of Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, everyone. I'm just gonna say, this game just keeps, every chapter keeps gets better, better and better and better. I mean, this is already sounding pretty interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool premise and cool yeah, game mechanics, so kind of I guarantee we're, some of the chapters gonna take longer just because the puzzles can get really tough yeah, later on. Yeah, if I start being terrible, I might need Artie's help. I'll do what I can. It's been like eight years since I've played right. this game. I've only played yeah. it once. Anyhow, I really hope you guys join in for this whole Let's Play. I pr Either that, or you see this first episode and you're like, this game sounds awesome. Get it yourself yeah, and play it. Yeah, get in and play it. And then watch our Let's Play, because sure. this game is best when you play it yourself, and it's such a good story, and it's such game a good game. I think this game a lot easier with the stylus. Than with it, it, it is. Than with this computer. It is. And I also want to say that this is this is really like Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. This is a rare gem. Very few people actually know about this game, but yeah. pretty much everyone who does is like, this game is amazing. Don't want to overhype it, but I really would encourage you guys to just stick around for the whole let's play. Any, it will be fun. I can guarantee that. Anyways, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.